for a typhoon to overturn the huge trucks like these, it must be really strong. Two days after Typhoon Nina battered the Bicol region, traces of its devastating effects are still evident. These fallen electric posts along Maharlika Highway in Camarines Sur are causing kilometers long traffic. In Naga City, the initial assessment of damage from the typhoon to infrastructure and agriculture is at 2 billion pesos. New Year's wish na mabilis yung recovery natin. We have to procure a lot of, uh, of uh, materials for, to, to put, uh, to lighten up the city again. Uh, we have to really uh, uh, repair uh, uh, school buildings. Uh, because the DEPA doesn't have uh, sufficient funds. Relief operations at the house of Vice President Lenny Robredo in Naga continues with volunteers flocking to help out. Since it's part the spirit of Christmas na magbigay and whatsoever, so dito kami lahat ngayon together with my friends na para po tumulong sa mga nangailangan. Robredo is now in the United States for vacation, but she's still in command of the relief operation. Relief packs containing food are many donations from the Vice President's network. Nagdagsaan na din yung mga volunteers na tumawag sa atin personally uh, dahil doon sa post ni Ma'am Lenny, panawagan ni Ma'am Lenny uh, sa kanyang Facebook account. Uh, at yung mga donations din dumating uh, the following day na pagkatapos ng Baguio. These were distributed to far-flung areas badly hit by the typhoon. Like Barangay Bagong Sirang in Pilika, Marina Sur. Residents say it's the first time they receive relief goods since Typhoon Nina hit. Salamat po kay Vice President Robredo. Salamat po talaga. Kahit paano, may ganito kami. Kahit paano, natulungan kami. Mayroon po sa amin nagmamahal na Vice President. Despite the hardship, Typhoon victims are optimistic that a better year awaits them. But for now, they say they need help to get back on their feet. From Camarines Sur, George Giles, CNN Philippines.